Michael Kerr here, author of The Humor Advantage, Why Some Businesses Are Laughing All the Way to the Bank, with a few tips to help you lead and laugh during these turbulent times. I want to remind you that your workplace culture, even if you're just a small business with a small team, your workplace culture matters now more than ever. We know from so much research that when major economic downturns happen, those companies, those businesses that focused on their culture, that had strong cultures in place, rebounded much, much quicker. They were more resilient. Your culture is the glue that is going to keep your team together. Your culture matters now more than ever, which means your values matter now more than ever. Let's face it, it's easy to live your values out loud when times are rocking, when you're doing the fun dance every day. When times get challenging, that's when it becomes a little bit more challenging to make sure you are remembering those old cliches, actions speak louder than words, and talk is cheap. So your employees need to be reminded of what your values are, and you need to make sure as a leader you are modeling those values and that you are treating them as lines in the sand, especially right now, the value of trust. That is so important in uncertain times. So I challenge you with this simple question. What words or behaviors might be inadvertently often, might be eroding trust in your business? And what words and behaviors, what words and actions are going to help you maintain high levels of trust? And we know if you are going to maintain trust with your employees and your customers, you have to communicate like never before. Research tells us that during Uncertain times during periods of a lot of change, leaders tend to under communicate by a factor of 10, by a factor of 10. So you need to, as a leader, step up and know that your job right now is to communicate relentlessly. Check in with your employees on a regular basis. Don't check up on your employees necessarily. That, that's a different thing. If you have teenagers at home, you know that checking up is very different than checking in on somebody. Genuinely check in with your employees just to see how they are doing. Schedule regular calls with your employees. In fact, I'm a huge fan of daily team huddles. So many of my clients rave about these and there's nothing stopping you from doing them virtually. If you are still not back meeting in a physical space, you can do these virtually, you can do these in person, maybe now with a little bit of distancing more than normal, but daily team huddles. These aren't meetings, so no chairs or they turn into a meeting, short and sweet, five to 10 minutes, same time, same place, same agenda every day. They serve as just a touch point and everybody who does these consistently raves about the power of them. So now might be a great time to start daily team huddles. And remember to inject a little humor into your communication nowadays more than ever, we need that. So kick off your meetings or your daily team huddles with a fun icebreaker, with nothing more than this. Just have everybody share one funny thing that happened to them since their last meeting or one funny thing or positive news story that they found that they can share with the team. Dirt simple, but it works wonderfully. And finally, of course, if you want to make sure you are strengthening your culture, remember now more than ever really is the time to up the fun factor, to be extra intentional about bringing a little bit of humor along for the ride because we know humor is a wonderful stress buster. It's a triple threat, as a matter of fact. It changes how we think about a challenging situation, how we feel about a challenging situation. So there's an emotional response and there's a physical response when you laugh. When you laugh, you lower your blood pressure, you increase the oxygen going to your brain and oxygen going to your brain at work, highly recommended. You increase salivary immunoglobulin A, which helps fight respiratory infections. According to a Simon Fraser University study, laughter works faster to relax our bodies than either Valium or vodka. And according to Dr. William Fry, 20 or 30 seconds of good hearty belly laughter is the same physical workout as two minutes on a rowing machine. So now you know what I do? I just go down to my local gym now that they're open again and I laugh at the people working out. <laughs> and the great news about laughter is you don't need a membership. So be extra intentional about tapping into your sense of humor at work. Now is the perfect time to start a collective team humor file where everybody collects 
all the funny stuff that they see out there in the world in one place. Now is the perfect time to start some fun rituals or traditions. If you're meeting, for example, even if you're doing a virtual meeting still, you can have a drinking game, for example, where everyone has their coffee, their tea, their water, their soda, and they have to take in a big exaggerated drink every time somebody says, uh, Bob, you're on mute. You're on mute, Bob. Take yourself up. Everyone takes a drink. Or somebody's dog starts barking. Everyone takes a drink. Or somebody's toddler comes into the background. Everyone takes a drink. There's all sorts of fun ways to inject a little bit of humor into your meetings, into your virtual meetings, into your workplace. Now is the time to be intentional about it. Create some fun contests with your employees and your customers. Create some fun rewards. How about the Houdini Award for whoever magically made a big problem disappear? Or the I Got Your Back Award to whoever best looked out for each other's mental and physical well-being in your workplace. Perfect award to honor somebody with right now. Or how about the Ha Ha Award to whoever kept everybody laughing during these challenging, turbulent times. So look for some opportunities to inject a little humor, a little fun, a little laughter into your workplace. I wish you a huge amount of success during these challenging, turbulent times. We will get through this together and we will get through this even more effectively if we remember the importance of our culture, of our humanity, and yes, of bringing a little bit of humor along for the ride.